So I just wanted to do a quick video sharing with you guys what I use for my wallpaper program. The program I use to set my wallpapers on my system is a program I've used really since I switched to Linux about 12 years ago on the desktop, and that is Nitrogen. Nitrogen is a fast, lightweight program. All it does is set wallpaper and it does this really nicely it's a very easy to use graphical program and I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel I often talk about bloated programs and some of you guys have asked me why do I use nitrogen to set my wallpaper as opposed to something like FEH uh, FEH is a lightweight powerful image viewer slash wallpaper setter so it actually functions it has a dual function, right? It, it can serve as a image viewer and a wallpaper setter. But to be honest, I don't like FE or FE or <laughs> FEH, however you want to pronounce this particular program. I don't like it as an image viewer. I think there's better image viewers out there. If I wanted to go more minimal, SXIV, I think, is a much better program than FEH for an image viewer. I think IMV is a much better minimal image viewer. And going the other direction, some heavier image viewers, things like the Eye of Gnome, Eye of Mate, Ristretto, View Noir, Geeky, Gwynview. <laughs> There's so many image viewers out there in Linux, and quite frankly, FEH is a pretty poor image viewer. So I would never use this to actually view images and to use it for setting wallpaper. It's not the greatest program for that either. I mean, you can use it, you know, at the command line to set a wallpaper. It's great, I guess, because it has this command line functionality. You know, it's, I guess you could use it in scripting a little better than something like Nitrogen. But to be honest, FEH is pretty weak and Nitrogen makes sense and it looks good. It's easy to use. There's not a lot of commands to it. If you wanted to do it at the command line, there's not much to do. There's not that many flags. You can read the man page. It's very short. But you really don't need to do anything at the command line with Nitrogen. Let me switch to my desktop, and I will show you this in action. So let me pull up Nitrogen. So I will just launch it really quickly here with D menu. And this is what Nitrogen looks like. Now let me resize this so it's not taking up the full screen. But basically, you set the wallpaper directory where whatever directory you want nitrogen to look for wallpapers in what you do is you go down here to preferences and then you have directories here and you can add whatever directories you want you say i just have my one wallpaper directory but you can add directories you can also tell it to look in these directories recursively or not you can turn that on or off depending on what you want to do uh, you can tell it do you want to do icon icon with captions a list uh, I like the icon view because it's just cleaner. I don't need, you know, the titles or captions or anything. I just want this little grid view of all my wallpapers. And then it's just a matter of, you know, choosing how I want this displayed. Do I want it the automatic scaling? Do I want it scaled, centered, tiled, zoomed, or zoomed fill? And then... The reason I really love Nitrogen, I run a triple monitor system, a multi-monitor system, and I love this aspect right here where you can choose whether this wallpaper is full screen, meaning stretched over the entire set of monitors. I don't often like to do that unless the wallpaper happens to be specifically for a triple monitor system, or you can set the wallpaper for a specific monitor, screen one, screen two, screen three in my case. Let me switch to a different scene in OBS and I will show you how this can be used to switch the wallpaper depending on what monitor you're using. So I'm going to move nitrogen over to monitor one. And what I will do is I will pick a different wallpaper for each monitor. So this is the one I have currently set. I'm going to choose the one right next to it. And I'm going to change monitor two, screen two, hit apply. And you see monitor two has a different wallpaper than monitor one. And then of course I could set something different for monitor three. Hit apply. And that really is pretty much all the functionality for nitrogen. I just uh, covered most of what nitrogen can do. Now, one of the really cool things with nitrogen is because I run window managers, tiling window managers, floating window managers like open box is the command line function for restoring a wallpaper is pretty easy. So let me get back to my desktop view. Let me pull up a terminal. I'm going to zoom in here and the 
command you need to know is nitrogen space dash dash restore. That is the command that restores your wallpaper. Nitrogen remembers the last time you had you know, set the wallpapers in nitrogen. So if you log into a window manager that doesn't have you know a wallpaper utility built into it, all you need to do is pull up a terminal or ND menu or any kind of run command launcher, run the command nitrogen space dash dash restore and your wallpaper will be restored just the way you said it the last time you ran nitrogen. And all you need to do, those of you that run window managers, is just add this command nitrogen space dash dash restore to your auto start files or your x init rc or whatever it is you use to auto launch stuff so if i go into well i'm in dwm today so if i cd into this directory here i have a document in here called auto start dot sh it's just a shell script and it's basically some stuff that auto starts when i log into dwm mostly it's the widgets that are in the bar but at the top you see i'm also auto starting compton you see Compton dash dash config and then the location to my Compton config and then nitrogen space dash dash restore that of course restores my wallpaper and I'm also launching the URXVT daemon. I no longer use URXVT so I actually could remove that line but it's fine that it's there for now. When you use nitrogen dash dash restore in a script or in an auto start script in my case make sure you add the ampersign at the end of the line that's very important and let me quit out of Vim and close that. Anyway, that was just a quick look at nitrogen. I, I hope you guys found this interesting. I, I think it is easily the best wallpaper utility out there, uh, bar none. I, I've never met anything that came close to nitrogen. And the fact that it's not a big, bloated, heavy program, and it's very intuitive. I mean, your grandmother could use nitrogen. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show. Michael, Mitchell, Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys are my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about the nitrogen wallpaper changer, it wouldn't have been possible. I also need to thank all these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen. All these guys are supporting me over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode wouldn't have been possible. The channel wouldn't be possible you'd like to support my work, consider doing so. Look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.